Marlins hosting the Red Sox. The Red Sox are minus 166 on the money line. The Marlins are plus 140. The over under eight runs. The Red Sox laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 106, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 128, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Weather will not be a factor because of the dome. And neither of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team last year or this year. Head to head, the Red Sox are on a two game winning streak. They are 6-4 and four against the Marlins in their last 10. The road team has won the last five games they've played against each other. The road team is 6-4. and four. The favorites won the last two games they've played against each other. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line and 8-2 and two on the run line. There have been no one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The over has hit in their last two. The under is 6-4, and four, but the over 8 is 4-3-3. Four, three, and three. four games went over, three games went under, three games hit 8 exactly. The Red Sox are 4-1 and one in Pavetta's last five starts. Uh, the over is 3-2 and two in those starts. Five innings pitched, 5.8 hits, three earned runs, 5.2 strikeouts, 1.8 walks, one home run per game. He's given up a home run in, ba- um, in three consecutive starts, and he gave up multiple home runs in back-to-back starts. 92.4 pitches per game. For the Marlins, they're 1-1 one one in Tyler's two starts. The over-under is 1-1. One and one. The home team is 2-0. and oh. Four and a third innings pitched, three and a half hits, one and a half earned runs, four, three strikeouts per game, two and a half walks per game, 0.5 home runs per game, 73 pitches per game, 16.8 pitches per inning. The Red Sox are 6-4 and four in their last 10, 3-1 and one in their last 4. 12 runs, 5 runs, 11 runs, 9 runs, 1 run and a loss, 4 runs and a win, 8 runs and a win, 7 runs and a win. For the Marlins... They are on a three-game losing streak, one and four in their last five. Five runs, 13 runs, 11 runs, nine runs. Three runs and a win, six runs and a loss, three runs and a loss, two runs and a loss. Red Sox with the money line, Red Sox laying the runs, and I'm going to lean under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.